and welcome. It's Jilly Cube and I'm here on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland, Australia. So welcome, welcome. Uh, coming to you with my daily pour and I have some colours that I want to use up in this pour so I'm going to just play it by ear and see what I can do with them. I'm um, thinking that I will do a Dutch pour because I've had so much fun this week with my Dutch pours so might give that a little go again. Might use up this white that I already have um, made up. Hope that it's not too thin. Let's try it. Oh, that looks pretty thin, hey? Well, this Dutch poury thing seems to like thin paint, so we'll just see how we go. Um, that's very thin, but I'll just try it. Risk it for a Swiss kit. I'm not too worried at the minute if it's not covered every bit of my canvas because I'm going to give it a real... I'm going to, you know, obviously blow it out with my hairdryer if I'm doing a Dutch pour, but I'll put some more colour over that. I'll just kind of have that as my base. So not to worry too much. Um, that's as the last of that paint, so... I'll give it a hit with my heat wand, gets rid of the air bubbles as you see, lovely, 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 alrighty, so which way would I like to do this, alright, I think I'm going to go an offshoot, so I've got this, um, this one's cool red, or is this one? Uh, yeah, I think it's cool red. So I'll give it a good... Ooh, that seems to have a few droppy bits in it. That's cool red. And then I'll put some, um, the ultraviolet. And I might go off this way. So cool red, ultraviolet, and now I've got some um, crimson, crimson red. Maybe I'll start up there with this one. So it's going to be a, yeah, hot and fiery, I would imagine. Give it a go anyway, hey? I might put a bit more of the ultraviolet down this side. And a bit more up this side. Now, should I or shouldn't I add yellow? Ah, uh, red and yellow. No, maybe not. Let's just see what I get. I have, now I have a bit of this. This was ultraviolet mixed, well, I had white and I put a bit of the ultraviolet in to send it like a lilac -y. So I might use this more so to blow, help blow my paint over the canvas. I don't like blowing the colours, the white over the colours, because I think it really mutes the colours. So I'm going to just go with it without blowing the light colour over. See what I get, hey? See what I get. So it might be a full blowout, I'm not sure yet. I'll just play it by ear and see what eventuates. So, yeah, I've always had problems with these Dutch pours, never been able to get the consistencies right. But the last couple of days, it's kind of been a little bit easier for me. So I will give this a go. I've got my cheapy $10 hair dryer and I've got a cool button that's hot it's 
from them. So I'm only going to do this a different way. Wow. Okay. Beautiful. Just might have a little bit of a blow up there. This looks like a bit of an accident scene here, but I really like that. That's gorgeous. Let me see. just add a little bit of the ultraviolet in this red so it doesn't look so um, gory. <laughs> See how we go with that. Just want to take some of that bright red out of it. Oh, slicing that's coming up. It's beautiful. Love it. Wow, 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 wow. I am going to leave that because I really, really like that. It is gorgeous. Wow. Lovely. Okay, I hope you like that too. I'm loving it. Look, because I've been having a go at these Dutch pours and never really happy with the results but that is I'm happy with that I love it I hope you like it too I'll give it a go again as people keep telling me keep persisting with it give it a go you know so I'm very happy with that today I will turn it around wait till it dries off and take some more photos the photos will be at the end of this video so have a little squizzy at how it dries so I will say cheerio for today and until tomorrow please come back tomorrow and um, join me again there is the recipe in the drop down box there's links to join our Australian acrylic pouring group you don't have to live in Australia you can be anywhere in the world so love to see you there so until tomorrow, take care. Bye for now. Oh, I just thought I'd bring you down for a look at some of this gorgeousness in this particular Dutch pour. So look at the some gorgeous lacing, some lovely, lovely wispiness in it. Some of the deep red, how it come darker there, love it. I just love it. Oh, look, looks like somebody praying there in the middle. And this is the whole picture. Okie doke, bye for now.